Hey guys, I have a new tutorial for you. <coughs> and it is a new DIY tutorial on how to make your very own face mask with a little filter pocket, as you can see. I've actually made a few different kinds. So camo because, yeah, I love camo. You know, a black one because I obviously want to look like a ninja. And a superhero one. As you can see, all super cool DC. So, if you want to learn how to make yourself a super face mask, continue watching, guys. So, these are the things you're going to need. So first of all, you're going to need the pattern. You can print that off of my website or if it's not up there yet, just give me an email and I'll email you the pattern. So just cut that out. It's got a front bit and a back bit. Then you're going to need some fabric. I'm using some cotton or cotton drill is really good to use as well. That's nice and thick. You need some thread, a few pins, scissors, elastic. I've got some just normal elastic you can buy that cheap off of ebay or if you don't have that you can also use some scrunchies like this and then to sew it up i'm using my sewing machine but you can obviously just sew it by hand and it's nice and easy like that too okay so let's get going so start off by folding your fabric in half with both of the right sides together and taking the pattern pieces, pinning them down and cutting them out. I've got all my pieces pinned down, so now I'm going to cut them out. Now I'm going to notch all the edges, so these points where the lines are. And it is literally just a teeny weeny little split just so you know where to fold. Okay, now it's sewing time. So you're just gonna sew the front edge one centimeter. Okay, now I've sewn the front sides of the mask, as you can see here. Now I'm going to take the inner side of the mask, which is the smaller side. So if I put it on top, you can see it's just a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to fold these bits over. So just following the notches, so that's one fold. And then another fold. And then I'm going to pin it and sew a line just down here okay so now i've sewn these two bits and i'm going to get the other piece and i'm going to butt two pieces together so this is where i put my first pin And then on the other side at the bottom, making sure both of the seams match. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to place another pin here and another one here and then I am going to sew from this bit here 
all the way up to the end here so at the top and then at the bottom so here it is okay now this is where an iron really helps so now I need to fold this bit over and now I'm going to just sew a line just to basically keep it in place. So here it is, I've sewn the top bit flare and as you can see you can still see the notches so I'm going to fold that over once. And you don't have to use the iron, but it's just a little bit more easier. Okay, and then fold it over once more. Just literally fold it on itself. And then just sew straight down making sure that you've left this bit open because this is where the elastic goes in so i've done that sewn it here and now before i turn it inside out i'm just gonna cut the top bit here just snip it off obviously without cutting your actual sewing because then you'd have to sew it all over again. Okay, ready to turn it inside out. Okay, and now I'm just going to iron it just to get it all nice and crisp. And there you're done. So now all you have to do is put the elastic through. And a little trick that I use is using a safety pin. So you're going to find a little hole bit there you go and then literally just put it a bit there do a knot and then do the same thing on both sides And there you have it with the elastic in. I've pulled the little knot through here to hide it through the casing. And as you can see, it's got a little pocket here where you can put the filter through. And here are a few that I made earlier. So get creative and get making masks. Thanks for watching, guys.